You got to be really brave to ask yourself the scary questions. Do you know anyone in the Illuminati? No. Are you in the Illuminati? No. You know that Illuminati level? Where they pay like nine grand? You are like a man who is blindfolded in a totally dark room looking for a black cat that isn't there. The only difference is that you found it. You know that Illuminati level? The Illuminati were founded in 1776 and 7 by Jesuit professor of legal canon Adam Weishaupt. It had a five-member area Pagite council over 2,000 members when it was dissolved by decree of the Bavarian government in 1784. Weishaupt's plan was to infiltrate Freemasonic lodges of the era, not through open discourse of his ideas, but by espionage and blackmail of high-ranking wealthy members. He sought to position his loyal advisors behind them, like the assassin's call to Hassan ibn Sabah, the old man of Alamut Mountain, in key political positions to advance his plot by subterfuge clandestinely. The agenda of the Illuminati was stated to be the overthrow of all existing forms of religion and government. The Rothschilds may be seen to have advanced this plan by gaining control of international banking and financing both sides in all wars since then, thus controlling all conflicts to their own advantage. But that was only the first step in the protocols of Illuminism. Rothschild funding both Napoleon and Tsarism, Rockefeller and Warburg funding Marxist Bolshevism, Harriman and Prescott Bush funding National Socialism, the CIA formed from the OSS to facilitate Project Paperclip, and was used to destabilize developing nations' democracies and experiment on American citizens in MK Ultra with LSD. On 9-11-2001, the Illuminati's New World Order celebrated their victory over all independent nation sovereignty when the neoconservative George W. Bush presidency effectively declared any adversaries to them terrorists in an unending war without borders to justify limitless fiat funding for the military-industrial complex of the U.S. Now in 2021 A.D., Everyone alive can clearly see who the modern Illuminati are. Wealthy elites like pedophile human trafficker Jeffrey Epstein, who flew on his Lolita Express private jet plane with both Democrat and Republican presidents of the U.S. But the U.S. presidents have all been beholden to the New World Order ever since GHWB shot JFK in 1964. We take it for granted nowadays that Tony Fauci and the World Health Organization are in lockstep with the World Economic Forum's Build Back Better plans. It's just like Julian Assange and George Orwell were warning us, and it's just like the Bilderberger Group plotted out for us in 2018, living in a post-truth world where COVID-19 is justification for implementing a global social credit score system, complete with private prisons for the last remaining dissidents to oppose post-humanism. Instead of carbon being used as fuel, it's taxed as humanity's pollution. But still people are wondering, lost in the hypnotic predictive programming presented by those who control the past in order to control the future. Your soul is whatever makes you unique. Your essence is on what they feed. They want you to believe it's only either love or fear, but it's your hopes they eat. You've been warned now you can't claim you cannot see the truth about the Illuminati, and now you know they're coming for your adrenochrome.